So I've made an improvement on my design here. Now I have two tanks. And I've got a valve from each tank that then goes to my pump and then to my filter. And then of course out to my nozzle. And I put a sight gauge on the side so now I can see how much fuel I have at each tank. That way I can have one tank that I'm using while I've got the other tank settling so that the, all the gunk and everything will settle down to the bottom. If you look at this one you can actually tell a little bit of coloration difference as it gets closer to the bottom. All that will even out and then I can use that bottom uh, valve to drain off water and animal fat and other kinds of goo. I just drain that into a little container and pour it into that bucket until it fills up and let it settle a little bit. And you can see there's there is some good stuff in there. I'll just have to pump it off the top and uh, recycle that. But that's my new improved design uh, to make it easier to have some fuel while the other fuel is settling because I let it sit for a week. This is the filter I use. I don't guess this camera is going to focus on it very well, but it's a Whirlpool whole house filtration standard capacity replacement filter. Two microns. I got this at Lowe's. This was a two pack. I've already put one in. But uh, with this filter and with letting it settle for a week uh, and draining all the animal fat off the bottom, one of these filters will last well over 150 gallons. And then when it starts getting slow, you can uh, replace the filter and your uh, pumping speed will come back.